T Bone in the morning, Lars Styles. Rosenberg's on assignment. ESPN got him moving around out here. He'll be back, though. Yo, Rosenberg's getting big out here. He's on the TV all the time. I know. Lord Styles. Yo, you think he's, gonna, he's coming up. You think he's going to leave us pretty soon, Lars? I don't know. I hope not, but hmm. if he does, I'm not mad at him. Sean, he Sean you've TV. seen your family members. Sean Wayne's first. Give it up for Sean. What's Wayne's up? What's up? What's going Sean on? Sean's, uh, Sean's a friend of the How's show. Comes through. He's at Caroline's on Broadway. Copy your tickets. It's going to be a great time. Who you t- who you sexting, bro? I ain't sexting nobody. I'm looking at this um thing. Let's fly it for this um thing that I'm hosting. Uh, here in New York? Or this yeah, here city? in New York. Yeah, Highline. Highline Ballroom. Okay. When is this that? Little plug- it's this weekend. Oh, so that and Caroline? Yeah, it's uh, after... Party thing. Oh, you don't have to parties now. Oh, you're doing so, the clubs. I'm going to. You're going to do the DJing too. thing like you used to do on the um, Living Color? Not this time around, but <laughs> I'm just um, <laughs> I'm just hosting tonight. So, question. Your family members, you've seen many of them go on to be very successful. Yeah. How do you know when they're about to leave the house? Because I know you as one of the younger weigh-ins. You were like number eight in a line of ten. Yeah. You. I was nine. You were num- number nine you out of ten. You just killed somebody in my family. And sorry, I don't know sorry, who. sorry. You were nine out of ten. I know you and uh, Marlon used to wait for a motherfucker to move out the house so y'all could have more space, more clothes. Well, you know... How do you know when they're about to leave? We didn't know because we were the babies of the family and we would just wake up and go, where's Keenan? Because we all slept... In, <laughs> a lot of us slept in the same bed. We used to having like Keenan's foot in our mouth or Damon's fucking... Uh, <laughs> go ahead, you good, you good. It's okay. Yeah. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, Damon's, <laughs> you know... Uh, you know, leg in our mouth or hair or something. And uh, when he had hair, when he had hair, this was back. That's how far back it went. It was <laughs> Damon had hair. Uh, but yeah, we we just woke up and be like, where they at? And then they would show up with bags like, yo, Keenan's home. Yo, he's back wow. from. He went to college. You know. So you know. Then as we got older, we started to understand that you know all the brothers was moving on. They moved out the house, and um, you know they they were men. And you agree that if you love them, let them go. If you and and if they and if it's real love, they come home. Yeah, but with your with your fam- with Rosenberg. Oh, with Rosenberg. Yeah. If you love him, let him go. See, Rosenberg Laura, we may have to let he, him go. He, he, ain't go, he ain't going nowhere. He you think he's going. You think he's going to bounce for you guys? for ESPN or full time? No, I mean, I, he's always check. told me that he still wants to be here somehow, some way. Well, that sounds like someone who got a nice deal somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, no, he. Does. That's like a guy who found a young girl. Yeah. And he doesn't want to leave his wife. Like, flat out, but he's like, I want to be good with you forever. I want to be friends forever with you. But I got this new thing thing now I'm, what, I'm dealing with. That's what we are. We're the, we're but, the ex-wife. So right? he got a nice new little no, young, well, young piece. we're not there yet. Don't, I don't know. You all insecure. We're like, not there yet. No, he's moved on it's already. Over. You know, I feel it. I'm feeling it. it my psychic over. told me. We're not there yet. <laughs> yo, my man, my man is getting emotional. Like, yo, yo, son, I had a premonition, dog. <laughs> He ain't coming back. I'm going to start going through your phone, Rosenberg. Yo, 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 he he start looking through. That's right. Yo, who you Snapchatting, yo? <laughs> so, uh, Sean Wayans, uh, mm-hmm. a lot of going on in the news right now. Colin Kaepernick sits during the national anthem. It's an international incident that someone decided not to stand up during the national anthem. People went on to come for him. People went supporting him. Now it got to the point where people who aren't veterans are saying he's offending veterans, and veterans are like, no, no, no. We don't fight for a song. We fight for freedom and the right to sit or stand. Yeah. And they're supporting Colin Kaepernick. That's where we're at today. Now there's a new hashtag, veterans for Kaepernick. Yeah, you know, we're in a weird time. Uh, you know, there's not much you can do to change things that's happening. He's just trying to... Keep the convo going. He's trying to have a blip, be a, a blip on the screen. He ain't, you know. And, and, and you know, what, what more can we do? Right. There's some insane stuff happening with us right now. Yeah. So, you know, it's like all the, all the extra stuff that goes with what he did, it's just like, is it is it really, really? Did he... Did he did he do that big of a, 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 a big deal? Was it that offensive? Was it really that offensive when it, it when it's like if you uh you you know you corner a squirrel and uh, he jump at you, you know what I mean? That's all he can do. You yeah. can't be mad at the squirrel. That's you a giant. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he just like he's trying to do something. He's trying to do something. That's all. Trying to keep the combo going. Yeah, he, he, do you uh, do you have a if we political- was in a, if we was in a different time, I don't think he would be doing that. 
Right. That's all. That's all. That's all he has to express himself. Do you? Are you a political person? Are you a voting person? Um, I do vote. Yeah. Am I political? No. I'm. I'm very like. Do you know where it's you're going? peripheral to me? Right. I. I. I it, you know. I. I'm. I'm kind of in my own little bubble. I'm trying to just stay happy, trying to keep people happy, and um, there's a lot of stuff that I feel like we don't control. Do you have a a vote yet? Trump or Hillary? It definitely ain't Trump. <laughs> Facts. So is it Hillary? It ain't Trump. <laughs> it is. A, it feels I'm like, like that. I'm this like time, Dave right? Chappelle on this special. Black guys don't like to share their political views <laughs> with other people, man. It's true. Ow. Yeah, I don't really. You don't, you don't I don't get, get into all that. I, yeah. I ain't into all that. And, but and, but and, it ain't it ain't true. Well, let me ask you this. But were you a very a staunch Obama person? Were you a vocal? Were you vocal like, yo, this is the guy I'm voting for? You know for. what? Yeah, I I was. I gotta be honest with you. I was. I I was. I was pretty. You know, come on. How do you not? How do you not? Young black man, brother. Yeah. A credible one. Yeah. You know gonna 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 go for the presidency and, and and he's gonna win and you know that that was just a whole different different thing i understand your perspective too because a lot of people you know hillary has a lot of shit that comes with her yes that people don't like donald trump has a truckload more mm -hmm. right and then just not the political savvy credibility leadership he hasn't even been up on capitol hill ever in his life probably yeah um so i understand your point of being like look i know i ain't voting for that motherfucker yeah that's not going to happen. Not at all. He's crazy. He's insane. Yeah, he's crazy. Um, You've lived a Hollywood lifestyle. When you came in the room, Laura pointed out to you, she said, you lived a Hollywood lifestyle. You were like, yeah, not really. No, I don't really live the... Uh, tell me what the Hollywood lifestyle to house you guys parties. is. Big houses, house parties, TMZ stuff. I'll go to street. someone else's party okay, so at their house. That's living the Hollywood lifestyle. Well... Yeah, it is. I mean, if it happens in Hollywood, then yes, then okay. I'll, I'll go to someone else's party if it's popping. It, you know, I ain't you know I ain't gonna just show up to nobody's house that if it's whack. Oh, you're not gonna show you, up uninvited. I ain't gonna do that either. I ain't so gonna do that. you follow this Chris Brown story? Yeah, I heard about the Chris Brown thing. So he, that was a nice segue, by the way. Well, I'm just saying. He's like, yo, you like the party? Yeah, man. So what do you think about all this killing? No, no, no. That's not what I was going to do. No, that's not what I was going to do. I was going to say that. You, you like driving, right? Yeah. So what do you think about brothers getting shot? It's like, hey, man. What, <laughs> what, no, what I was going to say is in, in Hollywood, in L.A., you hear about house parties a lot. Clubs close at like one. There's not a lot of clubs. People go to house parties. Jamie Foxx has parties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You used to hear about Prince parties. Like yeah. house parties is a thing where people in the privacy of their own homes so they don't have to deal with paparazzi invite people over and they right. have big homes and they party at the crib. Right. Chris Brown invites someone over. The dude shows up with two uninvited women. Right. One of the women we've come to find out now insulted, said Chris's jewelry was fake, yeah. and he asked her to leave. She texts somebody and says, What, Laura? Well, it was like he had kicked her out, and when she was outside, listen, I don't know if this text message is real, and that TMZ put it out, so you never know with TMZ. But basically, she claimed that she was embarrassed, and if she's like, yo, can you come send me an Uber? If not, I'm going to call 911 and basically set Chris up and claim that he pulled out a gun and shot me. Wow. I mean, uh, uh, he's threatening to shoot me. Wow. Well, you should be able to track that in the in the phone. You yeah. can track anything, so... Yeah. You go to AT and T or Sprint, whoever her provider is, and get that info. So. Well, you know, right now it's just TMZ putting it out, but we don't know. We don't know if this is real now. But the incident there was a SWAT team all over his house. I know. Got I know, arrested. I know. I know. So it was a big deal. Yeah, you know, Chris Brown, man, he's an interesting. His resume cat. doesn't help him. It doesn't. It doesn't. And he's, you know, he doesn't come off as a horrible guy. He just feels like he's misguided. You, I realize. It, what I realize is he's a only, I think he's the only child. Mm. He doesn't have any older brothers. And I'm not sure if he has a father figure in his life. But I realize uh, it just in my journey how important those father figures and, and male role models are in your life. You need them. You need that voice. You need that base to let you know, hey, Junior, you fucking up. Mm -hmm. Get it right. You wasn't raised like that. Get it right. You know what I mean? Like, And he don't he don't have that. So that's gonna happen. Yeah. You know, if he had an older brother, his older brother tell me, yo, man, you don't bring people to your house, man. Don't, well, she don't. showed up uninvited. You shouldn't have friends anyway that bring people. That's extra what I'm like saying. That, that's what I'm saying. You you got money, you rent a house. 
when you're done, nobody yeah. know where you live. Nobody know. You know what I'm saying? You don't yeah. bring all that to your house, man. You can't. You can't do that. Not and nowadays. That was that was back in the back in the day. You could do that. Yeah. You can't do that now. But think about it. You invite your friend over and it's happened. People just bring, yeah, I'm going to bring some girls over. Nah. Yeah, really cool. Chris Brown nah. And not gir- random girls random, is a yeah. setup, All I'm saying is that I, I can see how it can happen. This is, is it dumb? Yes, of course the, it the, is. The, the, no. no. It, 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 obviously, it's happening. It happens all the time. It happens to people that ain't thinking. He ain't thinking. At this point, you know what it is. You know what time it is. You can't. can't do it. I feel bad for him because it's such a sad. I ain't saying I ain't feel bad for him. Such I'm saying setup. that you know what time it is. At this particular mm-hmm. point in time, you know that. Don't you mean two innocent random girls? No. Who? 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 I don't. I don't. Mm-mm. You've seen so many scandals go down by now. You know what time it is. So yeah. if you got a brain in your head, you going, nah, I'm good. And this is... Wait, Chris Brown's had a stalker live in his house while he was away. He right. gets yeah. home, he's a stalker there. Right. He's had, he's been robbed where people just yes. went in his house, stole his whole exactly. shit. Exactly. I don't even know how you still live in the same house. That's what I mean. That. That, you know what I mean? That, that's, that's creepy right there. Like, oh. automatically, I'd be, I'd be moving. I'd be moving. You, uh, you live in L.A. or you live somewhere? I ain't else? telling y'all shit. Y'all <laughs> niggas ain't coming to my house. Ain't nobody coming to get, y'all ain't Chris Brown and this nigga right here. <laughs> Uh, so you telling uh, me you don't you don't I ain't have parties? You shit, you have parties at your crib? Yeah, I'm chilling. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> your boy S Dub is watching what's happening, and I'm chilling. <laughs> so y'all go ahead and party. Tell me where y'all partying at, and I'll come. <laughs> and I'll I'll bring my own little scandal for you. You know, and leave let them it. clean out yeah. your jewelry while I go back to the crib. Hilarious. How yeah. many children do you have? Three. Do you have three children? Um, do you believe? And I found myself saying this this morning, um, reading an article about how higher IQ intellectual people have less children than lower. And why don't people who are smarter have children, more children? Because they're smart. And that's the obvious answer because they can't afford it or whatever. Yeah, I don't think it's really the fact that, uh, you know, raising children, it's a full-time commitment. You know what I mean? And if you... If, you know, really smart and you're really ambitious and you're trying to do a lot, having a bunch of kids. What's a bunch for you? Well, you was raised with 10, so that's... Raised with 10, and my dad's career was deaded. Like, he couldn't do shit but feed us. That became his whole mission in life was, how how do you dream once you got that kind of responsibility on you? So, and it's not a bad thing, you know, for some people who choose that life... You know, he, my dad reaped great rewards from being just an un, incredible dad. And he was there and he raised us and he never left. And so he's hooked up now. Was it tough growing up, like trying to get dad's attention when there's so many kids? We was trying to eat, man. It wasn't, it wasn't even about attention. Attention is for like people who, who, who's That's spoiled. That's a luxury. That's <laughs> you're a luxury. spoiled. When, you're getting when attention you're, too. When you're one of 10. When you want a 10, you're just trying to get your own pair of socks. <laughs> You trying to get some drawers without a doo doo stain, <laughs> <laughs> where the band fits around you and it's not a hand me down. You got other priorities. You got other shit that you're dealing yeah. with. Attention, man. I want to eat. Yeah, your pops play is smart though. I think you you know having ten kids while that may not have been his plan, it was a good investment. Look how it turned out for him. Now he's chilling. How yeah, old, how old is he? I don't think he was sitting there pumping going, "I'm gonna turn this up." Uh, this bank account around. I'm going to flip this, man. I'm going to end up with like, <laughs> I'm going to have mad investments, yo. This is my ninth one. Yo, I'm going to diversify my portfolio. No, he wasn't even, <laughs> he wasn't uh, thinking like that. I just think that by him doing the right thing, it all came around for him. Mm. You know, that's that's usually how the universe works, you know? Do you plan on having more children? Mm, uh, you know, my kids are pretty big now. How old is your youngest? Eleven. Oh, okay, so she's, yeah. and uh, my oldest is seventeen. It's so a good place, right? Um, it feels yeah, good, right? Yeah, I feel like I'm at like the 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 blackjack table. We playing, we playing, we playing twenty one. I got nineteen. I could stay here and win the hand. Or I could get greedy and end up with 24. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't really plan on it. You want to wait to let this deck play out. We're going to let it play out. <laughs> you know, I put a lot of time in them. I yeah. want these kids to come out right. Yeah. 
that's what I'm that's what my focus is right now. So yeah. I'm not trying to I don't wanna be <laughs> I want to be Al Pacino with 70 in a stroller. Try- yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up. I seen a picture of him, man. He was like he had asthma trying to push his oh. uh, kid. I was just like, man, I don't, that's not how S Dub wants to go out. Do you, um, what's the biggest challenge for being a dad for you? Biggest parental challenge for Sean Wayne? Well, it's prepping them for this world. Mm. Uh, things are different than when I grew up. And I thought the 70s was tough, you know? It's a different day now. And I, I don't and I don't have all the advice for them. That's tough. You know what I mean? Because I'm feeling like you can't I, the I don't know. What do you do? You're looking at a teenager and you're going, I don't know. I don't know. But I could instill them with what I got, what yeah. I was raised with. And that's all I that's all I try to do is just put put as much as me in them. As possible, and uh, hopefully that'll uh, guide them and and allow them to make some really smart decisions. But that's probably the most challenging thing for uh, me raising Being these children dad. right now. Yeah, man, it's, it's times where you just gotta go. I, I don't know, son. I yeah, don't that's know. That's hard. That's hard. I have a two year old. That's why I'm actually. This interview is actually turned into me learning from you, just because I have a two year old girl. So that's you have girls. I have two girls and one boy. And the girls are younger than the boy. No, my boy's the baby. The boy's the baby. How was the, how was the girls in the teenage years? They're great. My girls are great. Uh, I I know girls can be difficult. Um, you know they're definitely more of a challenge than sometimes boys. Sometimes boys you might get that cra- crazy kid. I don't know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> yeah, it's a crapshoot. Do but. you smother your girls or are you kind of just let them? I, I'm I'm like. I'm fun dad. I'm, okay, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, I want them to know love. Right, right, right. right? So I'm setting the bar. And so. they're comfortable be like, Dad, I'm dating this guy. They can come to you. Or me. When, when they get of age, they can do that. Oh, they haven't done that yet. Wait, wait, when is 17? Right, she's right there. So she's, she's talking about I'm breaking up. I'm breaking up with my 17-year-old right now as we speak. <laughs> I'm letting her... Get do ready to do yeah. her thing, you know. Yeah, Not on no ancestral kind of stuff. I'm no, saying, like, you know, what I mean, as a yeah. dad, if I was my baby, and yeah, now for sure, she's but there. She hasn't even brought up a guy to you. No, she knows. She knows, she knows what she, she can't? knows that no. Like we, we I've talked to them all their life about. Here's the age. This is the age. You good. Mm. And it's not for me being a crazy dad. I I I'm a guy. I know what it is. So, you know, I don't want them to be all used up by the time they're 21, mm-hmm. right? Because then it's, you know, then they my headache. So, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so uh, on top of that, it's just I want the best for them. And at, at a certain age, there's a certain age where you're you're ready to do that. You're ready to date. You're ready to, you know, see take a, Take a crack at falling in love. Yeah, and, and yeah. And, but do it right. And being intimate and connecting and right. doing that whole... Yeah, do no so knucklehead story like, yo, smell that. Oh. Ah. No. Hey. Hey. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's that's where I'm at. But my I'm proud of my girls. They're doing great. Um, they put a lot of time in them. They're hardworking little students and... Just classy young ladies. When when you were you guys were just on it, you and Marlon, our white chicks was ringing off, and you guys had all these movies. That was how long ago now? Probably ten years ago, or something. So like that. your oldest was seven. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What did you? Were you fearful then that your career was pulling you away, or you knew you were doing the work then so that you could have the time now? Like how did? Or did you not even know you was just going for? I it? was just going for it, and. uh uh, yeah, it was, it was, it's all a blur because I was going for it. But they came to the set and they was watching me work and they bugged them out to see me. They didn't even know I was, and, you know, that was me. Me and Mom would scare them, pretend to kiss. And yeah. Like, <laughs> sad. <laughs> we messed them up. Um, but uh, uh, I didn't even know. I wasn't really thinking like that. And then as, as they got older, mm-hmm. I realized how much is going to take to really get this right to to make them be what I want them to be and so that's where my focus has been mainly growing around sets are they are they interested in acting yeah 
Oh, so they're they're inspired. They're really yeah, young. they're inspired. My my middle daughter wants to act. My other daughter's a DJ. Um, she's making music and stuff. My son loves drawing. Look, she's doing art. better than her dad already. Dad was just up <laughs> there playing that. as a DJ. She <laughs> well, was like, I'm a really well. Do it. I, I was, I, I, yeah, but I was playing as a DJ. But I started um, actually. I used to DJ back before yeah. in Living Color, right? And then I wanted to focus more on comedy, and that's where my passion was. And then when I was on the Living Color, nobody was nobody DJs on TV live. It's recorded. Exactly. So yeah. I was giving you a hard time. Yeah, I know that. I know. She you, will. You probably she get a lot, be, a lot of that, right? No. 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 It's no, a people, I, he knows that people fuck with him yeah, about it all would, the time. Yeah, but it's like that's not my that wasn't my main passion. But I actually mess around now. Now I actually you, you know, going back at it? I've been. I I play. I play around. So this after party you was talking about, you gonna be spinning at no, Highline Ballroom? I'm, I'm not spinning at this after party. I'm just chilling. So, how much? What what makes? What's the highest charge? Obviously, you to come out and do stand up, but your name rings bells. So, uh, if, you, if, if somebody was to book you as a DJ, oh, I'm sure I would get what I asked to get, just like that. You gonna, I, are you I, gonna if, have if a Vegas I, residency I, soon? I, I, maybe. You never know. But stand up is my passion. Stand up is the passion, and that's that's not only stand up comedy is where that's my love. That's what I love to do, writing and all that other stuff. All the other stuff is just fun. How big of a dirtbag was Sean Wayans in Living Color days with the women? Like, if you were to rank yourself. I was actually a nice guy. He's not going to admit it. No, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm dead serious. I, I, was, I was a nice dude. I was oh, a, were you uh, always like the more of a relationship type? I did a little bit of both. You know, I, I, I've always had, a, I had girls, and then I would have my fun. I was growing up. Right. Um, but yeah, I wasn't like, um, I wouldn't say I was, I wouldn't say I was like, I wasn't Chuck Berry. <laughs> ah, you smell like piss, bitch. I wasn't, I wasn't, I didn't go, I didn't go there. Um, but I had my fun. Yeah. And it was fun. Back then you could have fun. It's different now. No, they have fun now. There's a lot of fun. Do you know what it's like dating with Instagram? That's not fun. Why not? Because it's not fun. That ain't fun. That ain't fun. The what f- are you talking about? Well, it's not fun to him. That's not fun for me. To him. Could you imagine being 16 years old oh. and being able to DM yeah, that's diff- a girl yeah, yeah, that yeah, you yeah. thought was hot? But you're talking about from a, a famous person's perspective. Oh, no, 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 no. I was just talking about being young and just, oh. just being young and dating. And- it's, but see, it's actually but that much was- easier because now you don't have to get the courage to go but and go you know what? Girl, to like, to me, that's whack, though. Why? Because you ain't got no skill set. If that's what it is to get a girl, that's you didn't learn anything. You didn't learn no charm. No, you still got to be charming. Yeah, you ain't got. You got to be funny in it's the deal. Nah, it's definitely not. Nah, it's different, man. It's way live way easier. with a girl. Oh, live is different. That feeling yeah. live is different. Where you got nerves a little bit, and then your line work. And you end up drinking with her, then you end up busting some slob. Yeah. <laughs> Would you say busting slob. some slob? Yeah, busting slob. You know, kissing. You know, making out. Whatever. <laughs> That's such an old school yeah, term. I'm old slide. school. I'm old school. Anyway, so but, you're, but that, you're, I, I'm I'm all about that. That's that to me was exciting because now you get to use that again. What if technology go away? Oh yeah, no, we good. You we know good. what I'm saying? Like I'm set for life. I we know good. how to do this. I just was, I just think about teenagers now and the abundance, the sheer abundance and options in your phone. Yeah, but it's Must. just something. Nuts. It's something weird about it though. I'm well, it's, it's not personal. They, when no I connection. go out to clubs and stuff, they're not they're not no. talking to oh, each no, they're other. Texting. They're texting. They texting the person sitting across the table from. But it's weird. Yeah, everybody's like this. It's mm-hmm. weird. They showing people they having a good time, yeah. but they are not having a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all for show. Yeah. Back in the day, before all that, when you went to a club, it was one of the best times of your life. Joking, laughing, mm-hmm. dancing, connecting with people, talking to girls. Yo, this girl said this to me. Oh my God, son, that's crazy. You know what I mean? Like, you just, it was just a wild, fun social experience. It's just different now. Were you a line guy? You, you I heard you say, you said, uh, and the line my worked. line worked. Sean Wayne's had no, lines. No, I, I, didn't, I didn't have a book of lines. I just had what I was taught. The icebreaker. Yeah, the icebreaker. You know, my brother, my brother schooled me. Who? Which brother? Keenan or Dan? Keenan was the, was the, <laughs> He Dan- was a slick talker, right? Keenan was Kenan, always the yeah, slick Kenan. fly guy. Yeah, this is what you do. Keenan taught me how. He taught me everything. <laughs> he taught me everything. Damon taught me a lot about relationships because he was a married guy, but Keenan taught me about 
women and macking and all that stuff. He taught even he even taught me how to uh uh how to uh go down on a chick. How to eat pussy? On a, yes, how wow. to eat pussy on a on a grape. <laughs> on a grape. <laughs> really a grape. On some grapes, yep. Yeah. And it worked <laughs> like a charm. It was nice. I'm nice. <laughs> yes. Well, so it, I can put, eat some grapes. That eating grapes is your claim to fame when it comes. Like, I, ain't that's saying, your thing. I ain't saying that that's my claim to fame. I just said that it's just one of the things in my because because in my yeah. fridge. Do girls have a like a thing, Laura? Like mm. something that they're good at when it comes to sex? Like, do all girls yeah. have like I'm good at this? I'm good at that? I'm good at this? Uh, this is my strength. Yeah. Do they need one? I think girls got to do some work. If they, they do some I think work. if they, I mean, I don't think you want a fly, dead fish. No, I'm not a dead fish. You don't want that. Yeah. But if they fly and they fun to be with and it's right. And then again. You don't really got, they ain't really got to do much. You know what I mean? As long as they, yeah, they let you. You got to know what you're doing when you go handle the, handle the, handle the privates. When yes, you approach they my got, privates, yeah, you got to know what you're doing. Yeah, they got to know but that. But remember, because remember, that's your pet peeve. You said girls that are really fly and pretty usually get it easy because they, they feel like they don't have to work. They get it too easy work. But if they don't know how to work it, you can teach them over time. Yeah. So you don't throw away. So you're a you patient. You don't throw away a ro- Yes. You're patient. Of course. You don't throw away a Rolls Royce because it got a little ding in it. Right. You know, you still See, ride I, I around was, with that When I was ding. young, I used to screw that part up. I I would be right. I want my shit to be right, right when I get to it. Well, I, yeah, I didn't when like you, when you're, well, of course, I I didn't like virgins either. I didn't like uh, and that. it's not like I, it's not. I I didn't from a you know like being famous. It's not like I didn't. Um, I I didn't like to take nobody's virginity. I didn't like. I, did, I didn't want too do much that. responsibility. If I, yeah, if I if I if I wasn't planning on being with the girl, then I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't no. do that. And I had a couple too trying to. And you'd be do like, nah, I'm good. It's too, I'm good. Yeah, it was just, you know. I, the whole concept of I virginity want... turned me off when I was young. Like that whole, like, wait a minute, you ain't been with no, I'm cool. No, no, it's not, it's not even that. It's just I wanted to do the right thing. I didn't want to, I, di- I didn't want that. I didn't want to, unless yeah, I yeah, plan I'm on being conscious. with the girl. Yeah, I, I, I you know, that's not right. Sean Wayne's respectable young mm, man. Yeah. That's how I was raised. We love you, man. Sean. We do. We love you guys, too. We love you, too. What is that hair product you got in there? Because you are gleaming. Over there. <laughs> that was a nice way of saying, it's got that soul glow. <laughs> no, no, no. Just, um, you ain't dripping. You ain't dripping. It's not dripping. I thought yeah. I wiped it all off. She has perfect little curls. Uh, what yeah. is that? What, is, what are you using here? <laughs> Let's promote this. It ain't mine. I ain't giving them no money. <laughs> nah, it's called Crew. Is it like a, it's like a grease or a gel? Or it's, it's a little bit of both. A little bit of holding serum. <laughs> You know, very nice. Well get done. You, get well you back. done. Oh, thank you. Well done. I wash my ass. I try to try to keep it right. I mean, I, we were assuming that would happen. I, hey, you know, hey, you know, you, you know, y'all saying that you know, I came in here all flowery or something. <laughs> so I was just like, yeah, I wash my ass. So it's look, just, Sean is at Caroline's. He's also at the Highline Ballroom this weekend. Is the Highline right. Ballroom open to the public too? Yeah, it is. If they it's, just want to come party, what yeah, day if is they want to come party, it's on Saturday. Okay. Yeah. And um, you're out. You, sometimes you and Marlon move around together. Yeah, sometimes. A lot of times you guys are doing your own thing. Yeah. Is, are you guys working on any films, anything coming up you need to keep uh, us paying attention to? I mean, always pay attention. I don't got nothing to really say right now, but we in the lab. But there's something cooking. We always cook. And how's the film industry over the last several years for you guys since you, you know, had the issue with the, uh, what was it, um, scary movie franchise, right? And then mm-hmm. you guys worked to produce your own new horror comedy franchises, right? And Marlon really went in on that. And I know you guys are doing that with your own money now. Nah, I didn't. I don't, that's not. Marlon is doing, he did the he did that. A haunted house thing. Got it. Um, and he didn't do that with his own money either. That was a, a different setup. Right. It wasn't with his own money. Got it, got it. Um, and there's definitely no In Living Color reunion happening, right? Nope. Yeah. No. Nope. Why did you hear that as a rumor? Yeah, you know, there's always rumors. That people want it. So there's always like rumors. Hey, you gotta leave that alone. You yeah, leave that, leave that, leave that alone. it's it's too hard. It's it's too much. But also, not to say that never. But but also ain't. the bar and the franchise and the idea is so great. To li- is, don't you feel like trying to come back and do something like that or I mean a reunion of that would be I mean, I mean it's, it's like a reunion it's special. That, I mean it's like, not it's not that sketch is undoable. I mean we could do it in our sleep. That's not the the thing. To do in living color, it means you have to get all the elements back together. 
And that's the challenging part is getting all those elements back together. You got to get Jim. You got to get Jamie. You got to get, you know what I mean? In order to really. David Allen Gray, Tommy Davidson. Everybody. everybody. And, and that, that's difficult. Got it. But we would love to do it. But you just, it's one of those things where you go, man, wouldn't that be fun? And you go, yeah, let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> the fun would be ruined by trying to put it together, probably. It, it would. It would. And then if you feel weird that certain people make it and others don't, man. Eh. Say that again? I'm sorry. They said it'll feel weird having certain people there and others missing. Yeah, you can't it's do like, You know what I mean? You can't. Yeah, you don't want to do it with yeah. not everyone there. Yeah, but then yeah. it ain't the same. I wonder if J-Lo would be a fly girl again. She She'd probably do She it. might come she and might do, do something. Do that. J-Lo she might. That. She might. She's still in the jello. She's still doing it. Yeah. So she would probably come she in and, and just do a guest spot, shake her ass a little bit for America, and then, uh, you know, keep it moving. I don't think Dame and uh, David Allen Greer are doing men on film again. I don't think oh, they're doing that. They again. would do that. You think, I think they, would, they would? Yeah, they would. They would do that again. Would yeah. they let us do it? Is the question. Ah, oh. Yes, because they, that was a Fox thing back then, right? That, yeah, uh, no, it was, what do you mean? The, with the channel? It was yeah, on? the channel. Yeah, it was on Fox. But it, they don't. Fox doesn't own it though. Fox does own it. Fox does own it. I'm talking about with the it's it's we're in a different climate now. Ah, socially different. would that yeah, be it's, acceptable? It's different, yeah. Things are different. Ah, wow, that's so ill. I didn't even think about that. <sighs> yeah, that's so ill, right? Because people would get offended by that, and at that time, everybody yeah, loved it was just it. a different time. We in a different time. Do you ever feel like when you're working on comedy, like it's harder now because everything is so sensitive? Uh, part of you feels that way and then the comedian in you is like ah oh, fuck it we gonna make this funny we gonna do it you know you, you can't really worry about though you never write a joke again so you know we just out there swinging away just you know because people need laughter facts people want to laugh and if you come in with the the pc corny shit why even do it Sean Wayans, ladies and gentlemen um always good to see you good to see you guys glasses too. are amazing hair is impeccable <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Great father. Trying to rap. Charming young man. Trying to rap. We learned that you just were responsible, young, and did everything the right way. I tried to do everything the right way. I did I did my best. <laughs> there you go. I'm, Sean I, Wayne, ladies hey, and gentlemen. Hey, <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't no Chris Brown. <laughs> oh but I'm trying to do my... And the Chris, get your shit together. Stop with all that shit. 